here's what's new with the RX Zero Mark II. A flip-up screen. Internal 4K recording up to 30 frames per second. Interval shooting for time lapses. Improved recording time. Enhanced color science. New app integration. And in-body... Electronic image stabilization? By the way, this is just a first impressions of the new RX Zero Mark II. We'll be taking this camera to Hawaii with us this week to really put it through its paces. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification button, and tune in again to see if this is going to be a fantastic pocket size vlogging tool. So the RX Zero Mark II took a lot of what made the original RX Zero unique. It is still ultra compact, it is very robust, and it's still waterproof. Well, that waterfall slide costed me. I'm soaking wet now. This is all Vivian's fault. She told me to put my hand out of the waterfall. What do you have to say for yourself? What if I get sick? What would my mom say? Oh, it looks cool. It still has the one inch sensor, 15.3 megapixel using the Zeiss 24 millimeter F4 lens. Now the thing about the original RX-0 was that it's a fantastic production camera when you have a lot of them. But for your average consumer and for a lot of content creators out there, it was kind of a miss. Now the biggest gripe with the last RX-0 was that it did not record 4K videos internally. It was only possible through an external monitor. However, thanks to the latest processor, the RX-0 Mark II can record 4K internally, and boy is it clear. And the battery life is pretty good for a compact sized camera like this one. I was able to record almost 50 minutes of 4K before the battery died, and the heat warning signal never came on. Boy, you're gonna need some really good eyesight to see the text on the screen. They are incredibly tiny. But the most exciting thing about the RX Zero Mark II is the flip-up screen. Yes, a flip-up screen on this tiny, compact camera. Sure, it's a little small, but damn does it make framing your vlog shots so much easier. With a few simple rigs, you can add extra controls to your camera. For example, the RX Grip has a zoom rocker which allows you to utilize Sony's clear image zoom. Essentially, you can zoom up to 1.5 times in 4K and 2 times in 1080p with no image quality loss. And one big advantage that the RX Zero Mark II has that most compact cameras don't is a mic jack. So you can plug in an external shotgun mic or a lavalier for better audio. This is what it sounds like without the little fuzzy mic plugged in. This is my normal speaking voice. This is what it sounds like with the mic plugged in. I'm speaking at my normal voice. Now we do have to talk about the autofocus. If you're coming from the bigger Sony cameras, you're likely used to having continuous autofocus. With the RX Zero Mark II, however, it doesn't have continuous autofocus. It only has autofocus single. So you gotta make sure you half press the shutter to readjust focus anytime you change the framing to yourself or to a different subject. Though I don't have the original RX Zero to compare, the RX Zero Mark II has great colors and great looking skin tones. The camera also has a built-in intervalometer so you can create high quality time lapses. Now I know I'm going to be getting a lot of questions asking me, will the RX Zero Mark II replace something like a point and shoot camera, the RX 100, since they have the same sensor size? Well, the answer can be yes, and the answer can be no. The RX100 cameras still have a lot of advantages. The bigger screen, the dedicated zoom lens, and the variable aperture. So in a way, I think this can be a good companion to the RX100 or even the bigger alpha mirrorless cameras. This can be a good backup camera, a camera that can grab some really interesting angles, maybe shoot behind the scenes for a production set, or even vlog inconspicuously without drawing too much attention to yourself. And again, it can be a great standalone camera. It's able to capture high quality 4K, high quality audio, and you can just throw this in your bag without worrying about damaging it. So another question that I might get asked, is this camera better than the GoPro or the Osmo Pocket? Well, it's better in the sense that this has the bigger sensor, one inch versus one over 2.3 inch. So this is gonna yield better image quality and perform better in low light. However, if you're comparing them to their respective categories, GoPro being action, Osmo Pocket being a pocket gimbal, and this being a vlogging camera, this isn't as wide as the GoPro. Sony's not really marketing this camera as an action camera. They already have the X3000 for that, which has insane stabilization. The RX Zero Mark II is a little wider than the Osmo Pocket. The Osmo Pocket uses a 26mm lens, whereas this one uses a 24mm. But again, the Osmo Pocket has a dedicated gimbal, whereas this one has in-body electronic stabilization. 
Now to understand what that means, we're going to need an app called Imaging Edge Movie Edit, a new mobile app Sony designed to help users ingest and edit footage from the RX-0 Mark II. When the RX-02 is recording, not only is it capturing video, but it's also capturing additional data, which will be read by the Movie Edit app to stabilize your footage. So here's what the footage looks like handheld. And this is what it looks like after the app processes the stabilization data. Not bad. I can imagine using a gimbal with the RX-0 Mark II and then using the app to help stabilize the footage even further. However, I do have to note that the maximum export resolution from the app is 1080p only. It's not going to be a big deal if you're only working with full HD footage. It's more optimal on mobile devices anyway. But if you shoot and want to export in 4K from your mobile devices, the output of the stabilized file has to be 1080p. Hopefully in the official release or in a future update, exporting in 4K would be possible. Aside from stabilizing the footage, the Movie Edit app can also do aspect ratio cropping, zooming, object tracking, and speed control. Once you make modifications to your clips within this app, you can export and bring them into dedicated video editing apps like LumaFusion or Adobe Premiere Rush to add music, sound effects, color grading, and even titles. Overall, as far as first impressions goes, I really like the concept and the idea of this camera, but we'll still need further testing. However, everything on paper looks good. The flip-up screen, the 4K recording, the dedicated mic input, the new app integration, and the electronic in-body image stabilization. However, we're gonna have to see who this camera is really for, as the price for the RX-0 Mark II is a whopping $699. As mentioned earlier in the video, we'll be taking this to Hawaii to really put it through its paces, so check back again in the near future to see the full user experience review of the RX-0 Mark II. And let me know in the comments down below, what do you want to know more about this camera? What kind of comparisons do you want to see? Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!